What's up guys? Uh, I just want to do a reaction on this specific topic and uh, I know a lot of creators have, have done this. I just want to put give my input regarding this meta. Let's get into it. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got an OnlyFans page. Out of all these years, you know, Now I want you guys to focus on her face. She's quite amused and entertained by all of this. So she's loving this. You know, you know who the fuck I was when you met me? Before. No, God, please, no, no! So you really a masseuse like no funny business? Um, no, I'm not trained, but I'm just an empath. What? And like, like right now, I know Cam has some tension, not really tension, but some stuff in his shoulders going on. Oh, shit. Like, and what does that mean? Guys, when... okay, she's not a trained masseuse. She's just an empath. I would uh, definitely disagree with that. She's actually a narcissist. Uh, if you look at her behavior and uh, empath are selfless caring people and narcissists are selfish uh, people that thrive on sensationalism but uh, that's just a look this, oh, um, the stuff he well, got on his shoulders so can you hear that when i do it yes, yes, okay so i can hear the the muscles and the, the like the the yeah. gases in the muscles, I can you got gas? This, this woman has no idea what she's talking about. In uh, you know, people are realizing they are amused by her. Like, okay, so when you have a, when you get a massage and your back cracks, yeah, those are gas bubbles. What that are popping that you hear really. So you got gas bubbles. So you have like gas in between your, your muscles and your, and your ligaments and stuff, and you have to just you know work that out. <laughs> you, you're not going to get in trouble doing this? I thought you was going to send another body rub. Babe. Oh, no, 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 no. He gets the body rub, babe. Thank you. No. Oh. She said she's the expert. <laughs> I couldn't put nobody else's hands on this but me. Well, guys, uh, if you think she's really a masseuse and not uh, something else, please like and subscribe or comment your thoughts. It's like bashing you guys over the head with advice unsolicited <laughs> mate no making you watch the <laughs> video over and over Did and you over see how pissed off i was uh, um and i want to like change the narrative of gold digger right because i am for myself like i've always made a way for myself you know, and it hasn't been on the back of anyone else. It's been on my own. So, yeah, I dig for gold, diamonds, rubies. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So right. that's what you want to do. Let's change the narrative of that. It's not a bad thing. You but know, a lot of people just assume that you must have been one of these chicks. It seems like they really go after basketball players. Did you ever not have that all. kind of lifestyle before at all? I mean, I dated one basketball player prior to Joe, mm -hmm. and that was Cedric Sabalas. Okay. Um I dated Cedric for like maybe two or three months and he was just a horrible boyfriend. So I, I just stopped dating him, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm not, if I was like a groupie type chick, I mean, I would have hung on to the bad toxic relationship and, you know, tried to just, you know, if that's not what I want. I would be type chick. I mean, I would have hung on to the bad toxic relationship and, you know, tried to just, you know, if that's not what I want. I would a bullshit? Bullshit. You know, but I mean, I want a nice life. I just don't want it on the back of someone who I don't love. I can't pretend that long. Oh, here I come. Oh, here I come. Well, guys, she can't pretend that long. And uh, now this man's uh, financial situation got worse. Uh, she feels she can get up out of it. So it's not, it has never been about love. Here she clearly states she was pretending. And uh, that's what a lot of women do. They pretend, and then uh, when the guy gets sick, when your financial situation gets bad, or they get a promotion, or a degree, you know, or some type of uh, situation changes where she has the leverage in the relationship. When that situation changes, then you will truly see who you are, who you are married to. Right, because how long have you been in this relationship? Like 10 years or We've something? We've been together since 2012. So yeah, almost like 12, 13 years. So but I did do a love manifestation that night. Really? Yeah. What? 
What is that like? So it was a big super moon, and my little witchy self was like, okay, tonight I'm going to meet my husband. He's That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Moon, and my little witchy self was like, okay, tonight I'm going to meet my husband. He's going to, you know, be like this, like this, like that. I just wasn't very specific. Right. You know, I, like, I didn't ask for a guy with a lot of money. <laughs> what? So, guys, the reason why I wanted to react to this video, although it's quite old, is uh, just uh, to, to show guys, you know, a lot of people missed a few things and uh, I wanted to say something about that. Now, uh, I would like to know, is this uh, proof enough for some guys who's getting married that uh, they should see, watch and observe, you know, a woman properly and thoroughly before they get married you know just don't go after feelings and giggles and laughs but you know to really check in uh, uh, do research on a woman's past and uh, find out how her upbringing was uh, was she right in a two-parent household you know uh, does she have uh, abandonment issues whether it's the mother or the father you know uh, and uh, what uh, type of uh, trauma has she experienced as a child and you know uh, as she dealt with these childhood traumas you know as she uh, uh, come past it you know get, gotten proper counseling therapy for this and uh, or is she actively you know trying to better herself and get over the hurt the, the, the anger and the trauma that was caused by uh, whoever you know uh, or in her childhood in, uh, in very rare circumstances, will a woman realize that uh, the her undealt trauma is the main cause, you know, of her unhappiness in her daily life, and uh, it also uh, she must put in the hard work in herself on herself, you know, uh, which will take years of therapy counseling to uh, fix, you know, and uh, but it's your best option is to. Uh, not to build a family, you know, with a woman, uh, with a checkered past, or there is uh, undealt trauma, or you know, uh, just the troubling past, uh, generally. So uh, even in today's time, even if women had a very stable upbringing, you know, social media uh, will definitely make sure that. Uh, you, they will will, will uh, brainwash her into thinking that she's unhappy, and uh, thinking that uh, she will be much happier, you know, running the streets, uh, going from club to club, you know, you know, uh, meeting with random guys. In uh so, guys, uh, yeah, you have this woman, you know, she's going from podcast to podcast. As you will see, she is thriving on the attention that she's getting and uh, you know she's thoroughly enjoying this now this is because of her narcissism right i have posted a few things and to explain to you you know what drives a narcissist and one of them is uh, thoroughly embarrassing in uh, destroying the uh, partner's you know reputation and uh, as a narcissist they they the only feeling or sensation they get is uh, you know when when things happen around them uh, they do not have you know for normal feelings like a normal human being and uh, they can only feel uh, you know sensations you know things happening whether it's negative good or what uh, that is that is all they feel but uh, guys listen uh, that is all from me and uh, please like and subscribe